Hello, this is Abella David. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show us how to use VLOOKUP and the index match inside condition formatting to highlight an entire row of data that satisfied the specified criteria. So let's get started. Now, before we move further, let's make sense of our data set. Now, this is our data set. We have the date items state and the actual amount generated now in columns j and k we have each of the unique states and their corresponding target sales so for example for the state of washington the target sales is twenty thousand dollars for texas thirty thousand dollars for pennsylvania ten thousand dollars New York $25,000 and Michigan $40,000. So before we create our conditional formatting, I'm going to just write out the formula as an upper column in column F. So let's start. So in F2, I'm going to put in my equal sign and I'm going to reference the value in cell D2. Then I'm going to use greater than or equal to and we we'll deploy the VLOOKUP function. And I press my tab key to select the function. So the VLOOKUP as three mandatory and one optional argument to supply so for the first argument which is the lookup value so i'm going to select the cell c2 and then i'm going to put in a comma so for the table added which is the second argument i'm going to select the data to the right excluding the headers and of course i'm going to apply f4 to make it absolute so that when i copy the formula down the formula does not move relatively so i'm going to press f4 once comma and the next argument is the column index number now based on the table array we have the column index number so this is column index number one and this is column index number two and this is exactly what we want to return so i'm going to just type in two as a value comma and the fourth argument is the optional one and of course by default it's an approximate matching but we want an exact match so i'm going to just type in false or zero it implies the same and i'm going to close my formula so when i deploy f9 so we can actually see what it's going to deliver so it's delivered false because for the state of washington the target sales is twenty thousand, but the actual sales is actually 5120 which is false so i'm going to press ctrl z to go back and i deploy ctrl enter so it returns false i'm going to just copy the formula down using all fill the fill handle okay so we have the bunch of chosen false now i need to tweak this formula because we're going to use that inside the conditional formatting so because we want to highlight all the rows we need to fix the columns so I'm going to just put the formula in edit mode by pressing F2 and I'm going to come to D2 and I press F4 key, one, two, three. So in this case, we have locked down the column, not the row. And of course, for the VLOOKUP look up value, I'm going to apply mixed cell reference also. So F4 key, one, two, three. So we have locked down the column not the row so this remains absolute then i'm going to do control enter and let's copy it down again now this is exactly what we need so we have a bunch of twos and fours so i'm going to just come to the formula bar and i'm going to do control c to copy the formula and i press escape on my keyboard and then we can select our data control shift right and down arrow keys control backspace to move up then we click on conditional formatting in the home tab so we click on conditional formatting i want to set a new rule so i click on new rule and of course we have the new formatting rules and we are interested in using a formula to determine which cells to format so we have format values where this formula is true so what i'm going to do is to paste the formula and everything is fine then we need to set our format so i click on format and we can actually apply you know bold or whatever so let's apply a fill column so i'm going to select a green fill 
so this is gonna be the sample and we click on ok and finally I click on ok amazing so can you see that the data is formatted now let's analyze this now as we said earlier on the target for Washington is $20,000 but we did $5,000 so that is actually not true it's false now let's take Texas for example so the target level for Texas is Thirty thousand, and we did forty-one thousand eight nine one, which means that we surpassed the target. Now let me try to move this um Texas to thirty thousand. Let's see what happens. Okay, so when I eat this, of course, it gave us the conditionally formatted rule because we use the greater than or equal to. So this is how to do this operation using the VLOOKUP function. Now, we're going to replicate the same thing using the index match. So let's go to the next sheet tab. And of course, we have the same data. So let's just go ahead and write our formula here. So start by typing equal sign D2 greater than or equal to. Then I'm going to deploy the index match. And of course, the first argument is the array. So this is exactly what I want to return this now i'm going to fix that in absolute so that it doesn't want to copy down comma and of course for the row number i'm going to throw in the match or x match anyone so let's use match for the benefit of those who doesn't have the x match so for the match we need the lookup value so i'm going to select this data i'm going to apply f4 one two three and of course here yeah, we we'll do the same thing f4 one two three so let's continue come on and the lookup array is this and of course we apply f4 one okay then come on so the match type is going to be exact okay so put in zero and i close my match and close my index and i hit control enter so it gave us false so when we copy the formula down using the fill handle, we have bunch of trues and false, just like what we had using the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to just copy the formula F2. Then I can copy all this. Control C and I press escape. So let's select our data. Control Shift, right and down arrow keys, control backspace. Conditional formatting, new rule, use the formula to determine which cells to format, and I paste the formula in here. Everything is fine. Then I click on format, and let's apply yellow in this case, and I click on OK, and finally OK. Amazing. So we achieve the same result using the VLOOKUP and the index match. So when, we, when I press control down arrow key, you can actually see, so we achieve the same thing. So this is essentially how we use either the VLOOKUP or the index match inside conditional formatting. And this is an advanced one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give some comments and some likes. Thank you and bye for now.